Need to find a three named baby. I this one. I didn't. Oh. Oh shit! Ghosties! Oh, just the one. Fair enough. Folktale surrounding the disappearance of the monk did not disturb me. The mine's been active for a century or more, and the surrounding village has long since decayed. Any spirit that fed upon humans or human emotion or pain would have left in search of easier prey, or so I thought. As I searched for the moss spirit that had brought me to the depths of the mine, I began to wonder if the legends were true after all. If the spirit or whatever it was had driven away the miners could reside there still. In my mind, I began to hear the whispers in the dark, and the screams and cries of those who lost their lives long ago. Yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, I can open. <clears throat> Where's his house at? Oh, the other way. Back. Entirely possible. Green sign. Yes, leads to house. That's what we want. Help! One of those damned spirits came up right in my backyard. The stupid thing won't let anyone get by. It's got my tools and everything. Just kill the damn thing. It's already dead. You realize that, right? Alright, see what I can do. Well, I have a weird glowing blue fire. White demon. Just, just a ghost. Okay. He should say that then. Know that ghost? <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say that. She was my mother in law. Never once in her life did she say a kind word to me. And now she tries to keep at me even in death. Cool. You got what you deserved! Do you hear me? You deserved it! Right. <laughs> but any good job deserves a reward, of course. Here you go. She had some nice things in her grave, too. <laughs> Since she's gone, I guess she won't be keeping me from them anymore. <laughs> Robbing her grave? It's not a robbery. Uh, we're family. I'm just taking it back. Besides, she doesn't need it anymore. And I do. I mean, if he needs it. Now, go and find those ghosts I... Mournful soul. Okay, but I need to talk to you about the grave. Did... What? Did... Uh, questions about the ghosts. Miss Chan. Yeah, I know, the baby. I... Yeah. What about the baby? baby? Not... Hmm. I think we just have Anything? to keep... I think we just have to keep... That's all right. We'll go find Ren's what? wife thing. That won't take very long. And it'll heal us when we leave this area. It's profiling, Shaman. You probably said the same thing about Dompe and Ocarina of Time. Monster. You judge her. Some pseudophone. It's been too moldy today. This fall sucks already. Turn on my exhaust fan to get some air. I think too cold. Okay, so a house near the way to the Black Leopard School. I think we'll go to the arena and get the quest for the other bounty too. No reason not to. I see a house over here. 
these two idiots. That's not a house. There was that little empty house. Next one over. Going pretty good, Cora. We are we're punch murdering some ghosties. For a lady that needs to be punch murdered, perhaps. Someone whose name isn't commoner. Good day. I'm looking for minor things. I need help finding my what? way. Need help here. Huh. What can you tell about this area? The Merchants. On the north side of the district is the Imperial. Arena. What else? Oh, yes. Black Leopard School. Hey, he can't tell me anything. Oh, no, it's her. Okay. Yes. Is there something I can do for you? This looks like a guard tower or something. Forgive the interruption, but are you Ren Fang? Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, your husband wants me to kill you. Uh, tell me how your husband... There's a problem with your husband. My husband's spirit? He still curses me in death? Something like that. Tell me how your husband died. It should never have happened. I was preparing dinner for him as I normally did, but it burned, so I went oh, and bought some food. It was just an accident. It was the salmon. I knew it smelled odd when I bought it, but the price was right, and I needed it in a hurry. And, and it was just a terrible so accident. Ashamed. You need to go beg for forgiveness. It's not your fault. Then you did kill him. Yes, it is. No matter what you say, I will live the rest of my life with this guilt. But what pains me more is that his spirit cannot rest. Right. I have tried to visit his grave, but his madness knows no bounds. He seeks to drive me away at all costs. I think he might even try to kill me. Uh, something like that. I'm the one who will get- no. Uh, why don't you explain it to him? He never listens to me. He doesn't give me a chance, but maybe if you were there with me. Could you be there with me? If you believe me, he might listen. Maybe. Yes. If we went together, he might... We can totally go now. Yay. We did it. We solved the mission. You? You're back to gloat over this victory of yours, Harpy? Causing my torment and death? Is that satisfying to you? It was bad fish that killed you, not her. The fish? Oops. I died from a fish? I don't have enough charm for that. Uh, the fish is mightier than the sword. You're a wit, aren't you? Did you get that from the village idiot when you passed by? No, I won't believe it. It's a lie. Well, I tried. It's the truth. How can you be so certain? How can you believe her after you know what she's done to me? Because... because he believes me. He has seen me at our home mourning for you still. Not a day has gone by where I didn't cry over your death. It almost makes me wish you'd have your wish, just so I could be with you again. Feng, you... you really do care. Then all this time, my cursing... it was wrong. A little bit. <laughs> yes, yes, you were both wrong now. Maybe it's time to reward the person who pointed it out. Just forgive her. You killed me, but I see now in those eyes I fell in love with that you didn't mean to and that it pains you greatly. Hi, Coral. I... I forgive you, Feng. Yay! Good feelings. Bye. Thank you for what you have done, for both of us. In time, I hope I can repay you your kindness. Sure thing. Have a, have a good life. Well, yeah, but he was crazy and angry. What do you want? Crazy and angry. Does things to people. Let's find a baby. Ow.
Baby gray. Really wasn't any of these. So they put him somewhere else. I really hate you guys. Okay, with this power attack horse shit. Plus horse ass. Oh, forgotten scholar. Didn't see this one. No, no, we can't allow that to happen. What are it will you be doing? too much to bear. Uh huh. Do tell. But this poor wretch isn't much good either. No, not at all. But what else is there? What else is there? You seem fun. Work, damn you, work! Huh? What do you want? You, you can't have me, corpse. Not yet. Yeah, I wish that had ended better. I am Sweaty Hong, and I am not dead. You. You're not dead. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I just, I just panicked. I thought you were some spirit here for revenge. Right. I get that. I get that a lot. From what? Ah, well, my work, you see, while very important, very important, may upset some of those spirits not fully at peace. What are you doing? I, I am conducting my research. Right. I am a doctor by trade, studying the internals of the body and the energies that drive it. But lately... I have come on hard, hard time. My daughter, Wen Si Wei, has fallen ill, and nothing in my previous training could help me with what ails her. Her liver has been rotted from within, corrupted by some energy I have never encountered before. Anything I can do? I... I could not stand the possibility of her loss, so I Maybe. took matters into my own hands. Maybe. I researched the workings of the body and the spirit, as well as the lore of the creatures that live beyond death. Uh huh. I believe I have found a way to save my daughter, but I have not been successful in my efforts. What do you have to do? I have found a way to strengthen, no, to replace the corrupt flesh of one living creature with that of another. Right. Through the energies of the earth and by the divine will of heaven, her body can be made to accept the organ as if it were a part of her. She can be given a new life. But these cursed, wretched corpses do nothing for me. They are too old, too dead. Their organs are rotted beyond repair, even the ones recently buried. Yeah, that'll happen. I need something else. Something more. Either one that is perfectly preserved or one that is fresh. Her time is drawing near. If I cannot get a new organ for her soon, I fear it may be too late. Why not give her your own liver? I would. I would give anything to see her saved, but my techniques are much more advanced than any normal doctor could comprehend. I must do the operation myself, or find a savant of such skill that I would feel safe giving them control. I can do that. Oh, I guess I'll have to find your liver. liver that has been perfectly preserved. Even a short time after death, the flesh begins to decay. Only a few rare bodies are truly well preserved. Oh. I have tried all the organs I could find, but none work. A nobleman here, Ji Zin, had his body preserved well enough and buried in this graveyard, but his corpse has moved. Yay. Thank you. The uh. nobleman was buried in one of the larger tower tombs closer to the entrance. I tried to enter, but... But? His corpse had risen, covered in the protective wrappings he was buried in. I I would not have survived. Well, that doesn't seem so bad. Cool. Hey, scroll. One encounter brought vividly to the vividly to the mind was deep in a mine along the riding ridges near the land of howling spirits. I was searching for a spirit I had seen in the previous day, a spirit of moss and fungus that dwelt in that abandoned mine. Years earlier, the mines were so prosperous that several communities depended on them for their livelihood. Lapses, fires, and unexplained disappearances in the mines led people to become more and more fearful of them. 
A local monk ventured in one night after hearing a disturbance and he was never seen again. Thereafter, the miners repeatedly reported screams in the deepest tunnels in the voice of the young monk. Mad Wenji. Oh, that's his daughter. I was like, why is she making all the moaning noise? Left of work. Damn it. Facing the wrong way, ass bag. Now we can probably open this door. Yay! No bandits. Okay then. Fun. They tried to take from me, and they died. I feasted on their souls. Such is the evil I was well, in life. See, it's okay, because he's an asshole. In death. The underworld has no place for me. Gee, sin lives. Give me your liver. Just what I was looking for. You seek me? You seek one so evil that his very touch spreads the corruption his vanity has caused. Good character model. My perfect body is a testament to my crime. To live and feed in death are all that are left to me. You can repent for your sins. A chance to repent. Can it be that after all this time, after years of living death, I am given this one chance to make something right? Sure, why not? What is this chance you speak of, mortal? What is this false hope you dangled for me? Can I have your liver? A girl. After so long, a girl. <laughs> but I'm a vile and corrupt being, forever damned by the life I led, set here in this wretched form to walk forever. Uh, you can always try. Redemption for one such as me? I think not. My life was spent in greed and vanity and corruption. Even in death, I sought to preserve my perfect form. For one whose madness and evil progress even into death? No, there is no hope for me. None at all. And you stand here mocking me for it? Well, yeah, but you could still try. Ah, oh, the temptation. Yes. So much logic. So much philosophy. But who knows what the heavens will truly decide in the end. Oh, give it a shot, you big sissy. But for the chance... And it is a girl, so young. I can taste her pain and suffering lingering about you, so like my own. The blood is thick in my veins, a solid mass where fluid used to flow, now dried and brittle. But the heart still stirs, and it can be moved, though tears no longer flow. My life has been wasted on my own sins, and in death, I have nothing except them. This young thing, this girl, she still deserves life. I always used to be so good. If my end means this girl lives, then may the heavens look kindly upon me, even though I know they won't. If damnation is my fate, then let it be worth something in the end. Take what you need, mortal. Yay, we got it. Do I get to break anything? I don't get to. 
chain. Wow, I wonder if I fight ghosts again. Shit again. God, I hate you guys. She gave me a whole bunch of mana. Uh, here we go. Found your liver. Here you go. It can't be done. It can. It's a perfectly reason. No. Have, yeah. have. Stop. Here. Here. You, you do. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. It looks like it's been preserved well enough. I am amazed that you managed to get this intact. Now I must begin quickly. Her life energy is fading fast. Okay. Let me know how it works out. Sound effects. Ah, it looks like the operation has worked. She should be safe now. Her breathing has he had to find the heart liver. rate is returning to normal levels. It will be some time before she can stand on her own again. But I'm certain she will make it. Not here, though. Not in this place of death. Thank you, stranger, for what you have done for me. As I promised, I will give you all that I have left. Everything else was spent in pursuit of yeah, the Yeah, but they, they rot too fast. I must take her to a place where she can heal. You have my eternal gratitude for what you have done. Yay, silver. Thank you for what you have done. I have been redeemed in my own eyes and in the eyes of Aww. heaven. Peace indeed can come to any soul. Well, good for you. Good can come from any man. His joy saved him. Eh, I kind of coaxed him into it. 500 bucks. He was like Mad Wen Shi or something like that. He, he already had kind of a, He was already a sketchy individual. I'm so tired of you guys. There's three of them, I just need the AI to distract them. It's really old getting hit from three directions. At least they're giving me mana now. So where do I find the baby? Have you uh, uh I know which grave belongs to your baby. Are, are you sure? I know I wouldn't be able to stand it if I was separated from him again. Please don't let this madness consume me. Are you sure it is the right grave? No, but I'll show you. I... I cannot read. Which... which one is he? The one with three names. Oh, fuck. Oh well. White demon. Uh, kind of a dick move for it to take the, the third name away. That was kind of bullshit. I should have expected something. Uh, Chan Ding Sheng. Is that what I picked? Uh. Must have been Chan Li. Chan To. The gravekeeper said they had three syllables in their names. Oh well, whatever. Not gonna sweat it. Hey, we're done in the necropolis. We did it. Oh, 
there's still more ghosts to be done. Well, we did the good job on two of them. I have many open palm points. Oh yeah, most definitely. The grave. Yeah. What do you need? <laughs> what? Um, I dealt with it. Well, that's a relief. Can't have her going off and trying to rip out my eyes or something every time I go around there. I need those eyes. I can imagine. Here's the. Now, if you find any more, remember, I'll pay good money for you to put them back down again. So get out there and get some ghosts. Uh, so this is kind of like the very first quest we saw with the lions. It's like, you can just go kill the ghosts and he'll give you some money. But if you actually do the quest... on me, for sure. Now I can start selling those old plots again. Next time I'll just throw the bones in the river and be done with it. Here's the reward. Now, if you find any good riddance, hells, it was probably his old lady that offed him in the first place, and for good reason, too, I bet. <laughs> it's all just business to me, you understand. Here's the reward. You know, one spirit didn't stay here at all, though. Took up his body and left. Moved in with his son, I heard, and the son isn't pleased. He even asked me for a refund. The fiend. Now that was an expensive burial. I can't give refunds like that. It's bad for business, too, having my customers getting up and walking away. That's where you come in. I need you to go to the Tanners in the city core and put his father back in his grave once and for all. It's Tanner Fong. <laughs> There'll be an extra big reward for that one. Yay, quest. Is there... Uh, no, I'm good. Hey, we leveled up. Sweet. Uh, I don't know what to spend points on anymore. So many stats, though. I don't know what to do next. I guess we'd go to the garden, but I'm probably going to call it for right now. Uh, let's head back to the arena. So that quest we didn't do there. It's starting to bug a bit. Yeah, I read that. Nice little city though. What? There's a what now? Ah, it's you. I wanted the chance to thank you oh, that guy. for what you have done for my daughter. She can live a full and healthy life now, one a father can be proud of. Cool. I thank you once more. I hope the heavens look kindly on you and give you a fate to be proud of. Like five minutes ago, she pulled a pretty nice recovery. Badass old man. That's why my men brought you to me. I want Oh, he's been missing for a while. Personally. But I don't even try to make this better. You should have won that fight, Zhang, but you suddenly developed that blind spot, didn't you? Did the glint of silver get in your eye? Joe, honestly, I <laughs> uh. Nerd. You needed something for to witten it, one? Yes, I need to speak with you in private. It seems Warrior Zhang has decided to retire. I'm finished here. If you're here to fight, do what they tell you. Unlikely. 
You're gonna take that? Get up there and stand up for yourself. I sounded like you when I first got here. Now I'm finished for good. Learn about this fine Imperial Arena yourself, why don't you? Guess my spot in the roster is yours if you want it. Go find Kui the promoter if you think you can fill my shoes. He's always upstairs in the third room over or so, and looking for new blood. I'm taking what I have left from my winnings and leaving. Fair enough. Twitter. Hey, and there's a save. So, yeah.